Today we're going to talk about molecular and empirical formulas. For the most part, this will be a lesson on how to calculate empirical formulas and just define what a molecular formula is. During the video, don't forget you can stop and start it and take notes as you need to. What are molecular and empirical formulas? An empirical formula consists of the symbols for the elements combined in a compound with subscripts showing the smallest whole number ratio of the different atoms in the compound. You already know how to do this. Uh, molecular formulas are for molecular compound and aren't necessarily the same as the empirical formulas you'll see in the next slide. Sodium chloride, an ionic compound made up of a metal and a nonmetal, has an empirical formula of NaCl. It's also known as a formula unit. Diborane, on the other hand, is a molecular compound made up of a nonmetal and a nonmetal of boron and hydrogen. Its empirical formula is BH3. However, its molecular formula is B2H6, which makes it different than its empirical formula. To determine the empirical formulas, we use a four-step process. The first step is using the percent composition. The second step, we assume a 100 gram sample size. The third step, we convert the percent composition by dividing by the molar mass. And then step four, we determine the smallest whole number ratio by dividing each number of the moles by the smallest number in the ratios that we determined. Let's do an example. The problem get, says we're given 32.28% sodium, 22.65% sulfur, and 44.9% oxygen. Once we assume a 100 gram sample, we can convert these to gram measurements. 32.28 grams of sodium, 22.65 grams of sulfur, and 44.99 grams of oxygen. We're going to convert these to moles by dividing each by their molar mass and as you can see in the picture in the figure below that we've done that and we come up with 1.408 moles of sodium 0.7063 moles of sulfur and 2.812 moles of oxygen finally we determine the smallest whole number ratio and that was the one that was related to the sulfur so we take 1.408 moles of sodium divided by the 0.7063 and we do that for the sulfur and the oxygen as you can see here in the slide. That gives us 1.993 moles of sodium, 1, point mo 1 mole of sulfur, and 3.98 moles of oxygen. We round those up so we have 2 moles of sodium, 1 mole of sulfur, and 4 moles of oxygen. We put those together in the empirical formula and we come up with Na2SO4 and that is our empirical formula. Tomorrow we will be doing these in class, a couple examples, then you'll have time to practice these. On Thursday and Friday we'll be doing a lab related to determining the empirical formula. Don't forget to fill out the um, video response form on the live binder, and if you need to watch this again, just hit the rewind button and start over. Um, see you tomorrow.